Pumpkin Hit has always been a favorite of mine, but always felt the success was short change. This is even true with the comic Dark Horse published back in 1993. Rites of Exorcism is a four-part miniseries that focuses on Mariah and David, two backwood lovebirds who plan to run away together. It was a good attempt at continuing the Pumpkinhead lore with just the first movie out at the time, and introduced some things I wish could have made it into the films. Mariah, for instance, was an interesting character. Out of desperation, her parents bartered her life for the old Witch of the Mountain, Granny Haggis, in exchange for a bountiful harvest. Haggis accepted the offer and tutors Mariah in the dark arts so that she may be her successor. This plan falls apart, however, when Mariah falls in love with the town doctor's son, David. In rebellious teen fashion, their love motivates them to leave their Mountain Hick families and obligations behind and run away to the city where they'll get married. Right before they're about to leave, their lives of pond swimming and devil conjuring behind, Mariah is killed by the town jerk while waiting for a ride to the promised land and is up to David to avenge her. Funny thing is, Haggis passed away in the comic and David has a resurrect pumpkin hit by himself which Mariah taught him to do. Those must have been some fun date nights. Catching frogs, rolling in the hay, teaching one another how to summon monsters in case you're out for blood sometime. So, following a tradition with the movies, Pumpkinhead heads out to kill the gang of jerks responsible for Mariah's death. David wonders if it was all worth it while he rises in pain from the bonding nail shares on the eight foot tall creature. Now, I really felt the story had a good enough premise with Mariah and David, and I was sorry to never see translated to one of the movies. The comic also introduced a new hero to the series named Angus Brenner. Brenner is another survivor of the symbiotic bond shared with the Pumpkinhead and teases us with several ideas of what Pumpkinhead could be in origin. Like using a historical reference to suggest Pumpkinhead or others like him may have been around for at least 3 million years. Problem is these ideas range from demons to brain-eating aliens and makes me prefer they just leave it alone. Let that mystery be part of the enjoyment because I don't think any explanation would ever satisfy the fans. And to touch on the artwork, I was happy with it. I felt it could have been drawn creepier given the area it all takes place in, but it was overall a good job and never distracted from the story. Now, if you ever try to pick these books up and get frustrated when you can't find issues 3 and 4, don't kick yourself in the nads too hard. This book only got as far as two issues before cancellation, which I actually confirmed with Dark Horse Comics. They said it was poor sales or something like that, but issues 1 through 2 is it. Nothing else. We got all the setup of the story with these two issues, but none of the delivery. What happened to Angus before coming to Pine Falls? What the hell was the secret weapon he kept shining? Does Haggis or Mariah come back from the grave in any story-twisting way? Was anyone going to learn the secrets of Pumpkinhead? Does David stop Pumpkinhead from killing all the jerks? 20 years and these questions still have yet to be answered. Maybe if we're lucky, Sci-Fi will pick the series back up for another sequel and use the story as a springboard for the next plot. Now, rumor has it when the second model kit came out for Pumpkinhead, you know, the one where he has wings, that that was actually based on this Pumpkinhead found in these Dark Horse comics. And if you bought the model kit, you got an exclusive comic that actually concluded the canceled series in a glossy full-color booklet. I've never actually seen a copy for sale on eBay, Amazon, or anywhere else, but if you happen to have a copy you want to send it my way, please do. I'd love to see it. Oh, well, there you have it. See you later, Scream Freaks. Scream, scream, scream.